Hey y'all, welcome to Peyton Energetics. I'm Peyton. And today we're gonna to be talking about energy protection for star seeds. Because as you know, star seeds have a tendency to be more sensitive to energy than the average person. And because of this heightened sensitivity that so many star seeds have, it can be very helpful for star seeds to know how to protect their energy. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the particular sensitivities that star seeds often have and some ways to protect your energy so that you feel a little better, have more energy at the end of the day, and just keep a clean, clear space around yourself because that is what energy protection is all about. So one of the things that we've talked about in so many of these videos that makes star seeds kind of special and unique is we tend to be very sensitive to energy. Now, this can take many different forms. I have seen so many star seeds who are highly intuitive. So your sensitivity as a star seed may take the form of being very intuitive, being very good at reading energies, at knowing if someone is lying, knowing if someone doesn't feel good. Um, that connection, that deep connection with your intuition is something that is very common among star seeds. Now, another way that sensitivity can show up in star seeds is in terms of star seeds who are empaths. So if you're not sure what an empath is, an empath is someone who is very sensitive, especially to the emotional energy of other people. So with empaths, empaths tend to be very good at reading other people. So they tend to know how other people are feeling, whether they're feeling sick, even if they tell us they're feeling good, an empath will tend to be able to tune in very easily to someone else's emotional field. So this is something that is very common in star seeds is to be an empath. And finally, another way that sensitivity can show up in star seeds is in physical sensitivity. So sensitivity can show up in terms of people who are very sensitive to fragrances, to particular chemicals, to loud noises. And again, this is something that you see a lot of times in Pleiadian star seeds, a very extreme sensitivity to loud noises. You may also see sensitivities like sensitivities to crowds, just making a star seed feel very uncomfortable and overwhelmed. So this heightened sensitivity is something that is very common in many star seeds. And again, that is not to say that every star seed will have these characteristics, but we're talking in general trends, some things that tend to be more common in star seeds than you might see just in the average human population. So star seeds in particular are very often very sensitive beings. And because of that, star seeds have some special handling requirements. And one of the things that can be most helpful to you if you are on the sensitive end of the spectrum is to have energy protection tools. So let's talk for a second about what are energy protection tools? What are we talking about with energy protection in general? As humans, we know that we are fields of energy. And as we go out in our daily life, everyone that we are sitting in traffic with, working with, standing in line at Costco with, everyone that we are interacting with in our world, we are constantly exchanging energy with them. So as we do that, we tend to trap energy of other people in our energetic fields. And our energetic fields stretch several feet around us. So this is something that we think of ourselves as ending at our skin, but in reality, we are vast energetic beings and our energy field actually extends several feet in all directions around us. So as we go about our daily life, we are mixing and mingling our energy with everyone else around us. And so what can happen just as we do this, this is a natural thing, it happens to everyone, star seeds, light workers, normal people, we are always exchanging information. And the benefit to that is we're exchanging information with each other at a subconscious level. But what happens is we can, especially if we tend to be sensitive, trap other people's 
energy in our space. As energy workers, as intuitives, we never want to have other people's energy in our space. It's just not beneficial to us. When people don't have energy protection tools, they can find that their energy field really gets bogged down with energy that doesn't belong to them. So something that can happen if sensitive people in particular don't have energy protection tools in place, they can find that their energetic field gets bogged down, gets filled with energy that doesn't belong to them. And what happens as we start to accumulate a lot of other people's energy in our field is it starts to not feel good. Because as we say in energy work, energy isn't good or bad. It's just yours or it's not yours. And so as we are moving through the ascension process, raising our consciousness, one of the things that is becoming more and more important is that we keep a clean energy field. And so we have many tools that help us do that. One of the ways that we protect our energy as lightworkers, intuitives, star seeds, anyone on their awakening journey really, is by using energy protection tools. So what are these tools? When I talk about energy protection tools, what I'm talking about are simple exercises you can do. Uh, they take the form of, they look like a guided meditation or a quick visualization. And they are super easy to do. This isn't something that is gonna take you half of your day. You can put your energy protection tools in place in about two minutes. And what happens as you use these tools on a daily basis, they will do the work for you. And what your tools will do is they will keep other people's energy out of your energy field and keep your energy inside it. And so it's like a form of energetic barrier. And what happens with this is it then starts to create a calming space around you that's just your energy. And as an awakened community, as lightworkers and starseeds, it's super important for us to start creating and cultivating a clean, high vibrational space around us. Because especially as we notice, as things get a little crazier in the world around us, uh, when we see this collective energy really churning the way it has been recently, we don't want to be picking up negative energy that doesn't belong to us. So if we are going out, we don't want to be picking up the anger of our neighbors. We don't want to be picking up the fear that so many people are really just burdened with right now. We don't want to be picking up energy that doesn't belong to us. It's just not good for us. So your energy protection tools are a simple way to help you stop absorbing energy that doesn't belong to you. Because a lot of times as light workers and star seeds, we are like little energy sponges. And so we tend to soak up anything that is happening around us, which makes other people feel great because we are taking some of their negative energy, but it doesn't make us feel great. So it is one of the things that the guides are talking about how important it is for us to all be protecting our energy on a daily basis. So one of the ways you can do that is by using some simple tools. And if you've listened to my videos, you've heard me talk so many times about the importance of energy protection tools. Again, especially if you are sensitive and especially if you are an empath, these really are life-saving if you are an empath. Um, they are really game changers. So what do these tools look like? How do they work? There are so many different great energy tools out there. And if you scroll back to some of my earlier videos, I did several videos that walked you through some simple energy protection tools that you can try out if you don't have any of your own. But many of us, we learn these as we go through our intuitive training, as we go through our spiritual learning process. Um, so if you have tools that you love and that work for you, that's awesome. But if you're just now hearing about this and you realize that you don't have any tools that you're using on a regular basis, I really encourage you to look back at some of those older videos and start to play with a few of them. Again, they are super simple. They are super quick. It takes you no time. You can do it while you're brushing your teeth in the morning, but the, the payback you will get from energy protection tools is really incredible. The amount of energy that you will still have at the end of the day and just how you feel in your body space. And again, so many of us in the awakened community are struggling with the body right now, especially starseeds. 
because we have these hypersensitive bodies that anything that we can do to help make ourselves more comfortable in our physical bodies right now is a good thing. And energy protection tools are one of the shining stars of how we do this. Again, that is why we use energy protection tools. What they do is they just keep you in a nice clean space. They keep everyone else's energy out, keep your energy in. And that's always our goal in intuitive work and energy work is to keep ourselves as clear as possible from anyone else's energy. Energy is never good or bad. It's just ours or it's not ours. So energy protection tools help you stay in your own energy. So some of the ways that these tools can work are, again, they're just a simple meditation, a simple visualization. You can just close your eyes, do it while you're having your coffee in the morning and put your energy protection in place. And it will usually last you all day. You can also refresh them. You know, take a minute at your lunch break and put your energy tools in place. The difference this will make in how you feel is very often dramatic. So this is something that I really encourage you to try out. Now, again, with everything, don't take my word for it. Run this through your intuition. See what feedback you get from your body because different tools will work differently for different people. So in everything that we're talking about in energy work and intuitive practice, there's no one size fits all. So certain tools may work better for you than others. But in general, most people have incredible success if they just have a couple simple energy protection tools. And then the next trick is you have to use it every day. So as with all of these tools, they don't work if you don't use it, kind of like a gym membership. So that is why we use energy protection tools and why they're so incredibly important, especially if you are someone who is not feeling great right now, is struggling with these energies, trying to process these solar energies that we're dealing with. Um, energy protection tools can be very, very helpful. It's one of the reasons they are really beneficial for star seeds. So let me know in the comments, do you use energy protection tools on a daily basis? And if so, what are your favorite ones? There are so many great tools out there. So I encourage you guys to look around, do some research, play with different tools and see what you resonate with. Because again, we're all unique and we all have to kind of do a little bit of trial and error, be energy detective. And so let me know what is working for you. What tools are your favorites? What are your go-tos? Because some of our old, old tools are starting to have a new popularity. So I always love hearing what is working for people and what you find most useful to you for using on a daily basis. So drop that in the comments. Let me know your experience with them. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button if you haven't done that yet and the like button while you're there. So if you do decide to start making energy protection tools part of your daily practice, you may notice that you have a lot more energy at the end of the day. And this is something that I notice when I use my energy protection tools. And I notice even more on the days that I forget. And on the days that I forget to use my energy protection tools, usually by halfway into my morning, I start to notice that I'm getting aggravated, that my energy levels are dropping, that I'm starting to feel some anxiety creep in maybe. And what I'm doing is I notice I'm starting to pick up on the energy of the people around me. So that always reminds me that I've forgotten to use my tools that day. And again, these are so quick and easy to do. As soon as you notice you've forgotten, it's really easy to just take a moment and put them in place. So one thing you will notice, the more you use them, the stronger they get. So another benefit, in addition to having more energy at the end of the day, a lot of times you will feel better because you won't be picking up the negativity stress, fear, anger, whatever it might be of the people around you. And right there, you start to notice as you start to play with these tools and figure out which ones work best for you, you'll start to notice you feel better because you're not picking up stuff that doesn't belong to you. And another benefit of energy protection tools is as you use them, they start to raise your vibration. Now, one of the amazing things about energy protection tools is they work even if you don't feel them working. So I know so many of my uh, beginner clients who are just starting out get a little confused when they start using their energy tools because they can't really feel them working. But the beautiful thing about your energy protection tools, they're working even if you can't feel them. But 
you have to make sure you're using them. If you're not using them, they can't help you. But your tools will then do the heavy lifting for you. Once you start using these simple practices, you don't have to fight as hard, I find, to just stay happy and positive. Because once you realize how much of the way you feel is what you're absorbing from other people, it's really kind of mind blowing. And it gets so much easier to stay positive, stay you know, feeling good in your body, just when you take everyone else out of your field. So these are really incredibly powerful tools. And finally, one other great benefit of using energy protection tools is you'll start to be able to access your intuition more easily. Because again, as we get the energy field clearer, as we start to block out energies that don't belong to us, it gets much easier to connect with ourselves. And we talk so much in, in energy work about the power of connecting with your intuition, your inner wisdom. But to do that, you have to be able to hear it, right? And because we know that the inner voice is very quiet, um, it's very subtle. And so as you start to use your energy protection tools, you start to settle down your energy field. And it becomes much easier then to hear your inner wisdom, to hear what your heart is telling you, and to connect with your guides, your higher dimensional guide team. So all of these are some of the side benefits to using these incredibly simple tools. So if you're looking for something, if you are someone who has been struggling with these energies lately, and as you know, because I've said it a million times, um, the guides tell us these energies are only getting stronger. So anything we can do to protect our physical body, give our physical body a break, help it out, um, generally a good thing in my book. So energy protection tools are one of the best ways to do that. So let me know, what are you using? How is it working for you? And I hope this helps you. I'll see you soon.